and cop me dead at end. But I ain't giving out no bread. It's not. Right. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. All right. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yo, what up, YouTube? Ed Pierce here. Welcome back to the show. And today, y'all see what's going on, man. I'm finally coming back at y'all with a brand new shoe review. You feel me? And. If y'all read the title, you know what I'm saying? This is one of my favorite shoes, you feel me? I've been rocking this shoe ever since 1996, you feel me? And I might give y'all a story on how I first got my very, very first pair of these shoes. But, you know what I'm saying? Today, I'm about to show y'all a brand new, innovative shoe, you feel me? That that I'm, I'm glad Nike made this jump for real, like, you know what I'm saying? Because she it, it one of my favorite, you feel me? And then with the technology that they put into this shoe, it's turned up, you feel me? So make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe button. Stay tuned for all of my videos. Check out all of my content. And we finna jump right into the video, you feel me? E, man, check out this box. Do y'all know what it is from this box, man? This is the Jordan 11 Adapt Series, you feel me? So I'm finna give y'all a tour around this box real quick. As you can see, this is a size 10 and a half. I usually get this shoe in like a 10 and a half or 11, but it's just a cord on how it feels on my foot, you know what I mean? Jordan 11 Adapt version 1.5 year 2021. We got that right there. Nice Jordan logo. We got these Adapt circles right here. One thing about this shoe, y'all, is one of my favorite, and, and, and I'm going to do a comparison with this one and the um the actual uh, original Jordan 11, you know what I mean? Show y'all the bottom. Got all our little wears on there, you feel me? Check it out, check it out, check it out. 100% authentic, you feel me? These shoes retail for $500. $500. Plus tax like $549, something like that in my city. Yeah. The logo itself is like on the side of the box. And it got this little pull tab on it. You know what I mean? Even though you're not really pulling the shoe. But it's only on this side of the box, you know what I mean? So, that's a little different. But this is the actual front of the box. This is the front where you see these two Adapt uh, signals right here. And if you don't know what the Nike Adapt is, Nike Adapt uh, connects pretty much to your Nike app. Your Nike Adapt app. And uh, you can do different things with the shoe. It's good for like running, basketball, things like that. You feel me? And... Uh, but the coolest thing about this shoe is the automatic, the, the, the automaticness of the shoe, you know what I mean? They got some Adapt Air Maxes, Prestos, uh, they have a few Adapt shoes, but the first Jordan 11 was like an infrared, white and black. They came out last year, I didn't get that one, so I had to make sure that I got this one, you feel me? So, I got this one, and we finna turn it up just like that. Show y'all this shoe. I uh, cut on another light just to, uh, you know, bright it up a little bit. It was a little dark or whatever. So I wanted to make it a little bit brighter. So, you know what I'm saying? I got my other light and I'm about to bust these shoes out. You know what I mean? So let me open, flip the box like this. As you can see, you pull these two tabs out right here. And when you pull it out, you just lift it up. And this is what you get on the inside. Shoe. Got your Nike Adapt paper right here. Move that out the way. You have your uh, instruction manual, you know what I mean? Uh, first Jordan 11s to come with the instruction manual, you feel me? Like, and it's pretty long, different languages and stuff, you feel me? Uh, this is your USB charger, you know what I mean? You got your cord, you got your uh, authentic box and everything. I like the branding on everything, because it just makes it that much more exclusive. Plus, if you're charging $500 for a shoe, you got to come with it. You know what I mean? All right, right here you see this is pretty much a QR code to get it connected to your phone so that you can lace your shoes up. Right here uh, is giving you an example of the different buttons. You got your plus and your minuses, you know what I mean? Uh, and if you look at this shoe, this is not the Jordan 11 shoe. 
This is the actual Air Max shoe. You know what I mean? That, I think that could have been the first Nike Adapt shoe that they made. But this is like showing a picture of the Air Max shoe. But this is a Jordan 11 in this box. You know what I mean? So this is uh, just a close-up of it. Letting you know when you're fully charged and when you're low or whatever. And boom. It, you know, it, it's showing an example of, you know... The shoe getting tight on your foot or lacing it up to how you want it. You can set the, you can make the settings in your phone and it'll actually show you uh, uh, exactly how you have your shoe um, laced up or whatever. You know what I mean? So it's all good. I like that little diagram. You know, it, it, it's not the most intuitive, but it's cool. Then you have even more white paper. You turn it to the side and then boom, you got the shoe. You feel me? So I'm going to get a little closer with this shoe so y'all can check this shoe out. You know what I mean? I'm going to put that light back right there so y'all can see this shoe. As you can see, it's almost identical to a regular Jordan 11. You know what I mean? You got, your, you got this like mesh uh, nylon material, see-through on the outside. Then you have your Jordan 11 logo right here. You have, uh, it's like a shiny plastic. If you can see that, there's like a shiny plastic. Two, three right here. You got your blue stitching right here. And this color wave is so, man, it's it, it just so nice. That's the reason that I got it for real. You know what I mean? It's color wave. Got your blue stitching right here. You got your Jordan Jumpman right here. You know what I mean? With the uh, Jordan logo. As you can see, it's this mesh. Uh, nylon, like see-through material, whatever, right here. There's no laces. You get this string, which is an automatic string. You know what I mean? Automatic string. Look at that toe box. You know what I mean? It's frosty, but you can't see through it. It's good. White midsole. And, you know, this would usually be carbon fiber, but this is where the charging, this is where all the technology for the charging and stuff is. So, it's just plain plastic, but it's a good grade of plastic. You know what I mean? You got your black traction, ice blue sole. This sole so nice. You know what I mean? It's just a nice shoe. You know, it's just a nice shoe. If you look at it, you know what I mean? Now, if you're looking at it, it's a little bit more bulkier than a regular Jordan 11. So that's why I'm going to do a comparison side by side so y'all can see the actual difference in it. And this is your charging button. Now, I've been, I haven't tried these shoes on yet, but this button is it, pretty dead, so it might not even light up. I'll show you on the other shoe, but see, this shoe dead, because I've been uh, showing people the shoe and pushing that button, tying it, untying it, so it's pretty much dead. This is like a new buck suede leather or whatever, new buck leather or something. But it's not the original patent leather that would be on a Jordan 11. But it still looks good. You know what I mean? Still looks good. It's the low cut. It's not the real high cut that the new Jordan 11s have. But uh, I like it. I like it so much. So I'm going to get this shoe. Show you all. This one should light up. You see? It's dead. Because I haven't charged the shoe at all. So I won't be able to show you guys the shoe actually uh, lacing it up or whatever because it's dead but as you can see this one is real unlaced still a nice shoe you know what I mean still a nice shoe so we're gonna put these right here get started and the last thing that comes in your box which like I said I hadn't even took this out yet is your charging pad I hadn't even took it out yet, you know what I mean? I haven't charged a shoe, I haven't worn a shoe. If you can see, you got your circle right here. This is where you would place your shoes at. You know, and I'm going to wear this shoe. I, I definitely will not be selling this shoe. I keep every single Jordan 11 that I buy. So I can take this out and show you guys. We have the Nike branding right here. And you put your shoes right here to charge. Um, I don't know if this thing has any juice. Juice. I bought this shoe maybe like a month or so ago. So we gonna see if it have any juice left. Cause you just place the shoes on top of it and it charges. So let's see. 
Nah, it's dead. It's dead. But as you can see, this is how you would do it. You would sit it on here. I'm gonna charge my. I'm gonna charge the pad, so you all can actually see it. You know what I mean? And you know it shouldn't be an issue. But you know you plug it in right here, and you just sit the shoes on there. Make sure each shoe is covering that little circle, and it'll start charging. You know what I mean? But look at this shoe. It's a real nice shoe, you all. You know what I'm saying? What do y'all give it? You feel me? Like. I can give the shoe a, a 9 out of 10. I don't want to give it a perfect 10 out of 10 yet until I put the shoe on and wear it, see how comfortable it is. But um, right now, I will give this shoe a 9 out of 10 because of the design, the color wave. Like, this is a nice color. You feel me? Like, it's a nice color. It's perfect for the shoe and what it's doing right now. So, a lot of people say, oh, they wish the shoe was in an OG color wave. But since it's all new technology and a whole new shoe, I kind of like it with its own colorway because it's 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 on thing you feel me like it ain't it ain't a retro shoe so it shouldn't be a retro i mean it's a retro shoe but it's not it's a new it's so much new technology in here i don't mind it having its own colorway you know what i mean because that ice blue sole with this gray hidden you feel me then you got your blue little hints up in there like it, it's live like i'll be honest i really want a second pair so i can cut this off you feel me and expose the inside because I wonder what that is that looks like for real for real like I got a feeling this is gray and this is white and I think that'll be even fresher like that might be live you feel me so these shoes I might have to go and give them a 10 out of 10 honestly though because I know they're gonna be live when I put them on you feel me so man if y'all enjoyed this video man stay tuned and make sure you check out the comparison between the Nike 11 Nike Jordan 11 adapt and the original jordan 11 you feel me uh i might compare it with a uh, cool gray since the cool gray uh just recently came out around the same time where well, it came out for the winter or whatever last year but this adapt also came out last year too so i'm gonna compare those two together and uh, i might go back and grab some of my uh, old retros and show you the difference between the pet leather on there but stay tuned for that video, man. If you all enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Because like I said, I'm going to keep on dropping more and more content. So, thank you all again. I'm going to zoom in, give y'all a close-up on the issue. Check them out. This is the Jordan 11. This is the Jordan 11 Adapt from Nike. Peace out, y'all. Shh.